those steps to prop up your keyboard are supposed to be so you can see it better. Where's the escape? That's gotta be like a boomer thing. It's me. Today we're gonna be checking out some things you probably didn't know. Have you ever wondered how they mix paint at Home Depot and paint stores? This is how they do it. It all starts out as white paint. Cause it's like you see all the Pantones on the wall. I used to collect them as a child. Whatever shade of fuchsia you would like, they can scan it and then the machine automatically mixes the colors needed into the white to get that exact shade. And then they put it in the mixer Wham bam, yes ma'am. <gasps> Just the right shade of pink, nice. And that's how you do it. Certain types of doorknobs and handles can automatically disinfect themselves. If the doorknob is made of copper, brass, aluminum, or iron, they are antimicrobial and automatically kill bacteria. It doesn't mean you should turn a doorknob and stick your hand into your mouth. It does, however, take a few hours to kill the bacteria. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but when you go put gas in your car, there's a gas pump gauge. It's on the top of the wire you use to feed your car. This could actually save your life in the event that you accidentally leave the gas in your car and drive off. The whole place doesn't explode. So the gas pump wire has magnets attached to it. So when you drive off with it, once your car pulls it hard enough, it'll detach. So it doesn't take the whole thing with you. I wonder if this is a common thing. People driving off with the gas pump still attached. How you gonna forget it? Microwave mesh. What is it for? Besides blocking the view of your chicken tendies getting heated up. So that mesh that's blocking your view is also blocking the radiation. The design of the mesh, you know, all the little tiny holes, makes it so that the microwaves are just bouncing inside the microwave instead of at you. Nice. Why does an Apple power cable have wings? I don't know if you've noticed because it took me a really long time to figure this out. But if you take your MacBook charger, there are these two wings that pop out of the back that allow you to wrap up your wire. So it's all neat and it just stays like this. It's honestly a great feature and now y'all know about it. On the back of a lot of keyboards, there are little hinges right here. Not mine though. So you could prop it up at an angle. So I guess a lot of people thought it was more ergonomic to type at an angle, but turns out a flat keyboard is better for that. Tell that to my aching wrists. Ooh. So the steps to prop up your keyboard are supposed to be so you can see it better. How does that make sense? Where's the escape? Oh, let me put my keyboard steps on. There we go. Perfect. I can see everything without a glare. Nice. That's got to be like a boomer thing. Speaking of keyboards, on the F and the J, there is a little bump. If you slowly caress it, you will feel the little bump on the F and the J keys. Why? I mean, most people know that it's like, this is where you rest your fingers when you're in typing position. I feel like everybody knew that. So the bump lets your fingers find their way back home to the most optimal typing position. On the bottom of a lot of bags of chips, there are a bunch of colored circles. Is this Morse code for the type of crunch? What does it mean? Is it for people who can only read in color? So it's actually a printer's color block. It tells you what hues of the color were used to print the bag. Wow. So it's not that deep. <laughs> you also find it on cereal boxes and magazines. This is just, just letting you know what colors we used. Thank you for this useful information. You know when you finish a lollipop? How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? One. You know when you finish a lollipop and the stick has a hole in it? When I was a kid, we used to whistle through it like <laughs> Couldn't whistle then, still can't whistle now. So what is the hole for? It was made for one purpose. So it makes it very difficult to get the lollipop off the stick so kids can't choke on it. So it's basically like a, a firm grasp. Candy to stick be like so when they're molding the lollipops, it kind of like melts in through the hole and chills there. What is the dang hole in your pasta spoon for? It's not only for draining water, but also lets you know how much pasta is about the size of one portion. I mean, every time I used to make pasta, I used to just dump the whole box. We ain't good tonight, but no. If you're making pasta for two people, you're supposed to put the pasta sticks through the hole. That's enough pasta for me. But what if I wanna eat more? Okay, but for a hot second, can we talk about how my city shut down? Everything's closed. I've been at home doing nothing but eating. My food I'm supposed to be rationing out. I'm down to my last few rolls of toilet paper. Send help. 
On almost every single logo, you got like this little circle with an R, or sometimes it's a C. The C stands for copyright, but the R means it's registered with a US patent. So not only does it give the original owner a right to use it, but also if you steal it, you get sued, my dude. I think everybody has noticed the stripes on the aux cord or on your headphone jack. What are they for? They're obviously not just for decoration. When you only plug in one line, you're getting left side audio. And then the next one is the right side audio. And then when you plug the whole thing in, you get both. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but this is very useful. You will use this every single time you drive at night. So you know that little tab at the bottom of your rear view mirror? So if everybody's lights are super bright at night, you can move that tab. It's like an on off switch. There's a day mode and then a night mode. Bro, I don't even know how this works, but it's like, I just flip the switch. Flip, flip. <laughs> yeah, but it basically darkens your mirror and all the lights behind you. So if someone got their high beams on, they're driving you insane. It's slowly draining your eye health. You just flip that switch and you good. Why do all jeans have this little pocket? What art thou for? Oh, so when jeans were first invented, everyone had a pocket watch. You see, we don't use pocket watches anymore. That is unfortunate. So this is the little pocket where they would put their pocket watch. Why is one part of a bobby pin a zigzag? Which side goes up, which side goes down? Obviously the zigzag part is the bottom. So the grooves are supposed to help hold your hair better. So they stay in place. It's a hair muncher. Have you guys seen these two tone erasers? One side is white and one side is blue. Sometimes they have blue on the top, white on the bottom. So the blue part of the eraser was meant to erase pen. What you mean? Pen is permanent. Smash like if you've ever tried erasing pen. And failed because it's impossible. Anyways, turns out that was a lie. So the blue part is actually meant to erase deeper pencil marks. So if you like to write hard. You know, the kind of writing that goes through several pages of paper. The blue part's for you. The blue part of the eraser is the thick part, so it should do a better job. Dimples on a golf ball. Why? Why couldn't you be a regular ball? Which came first, the golf ball or the Epcot? So the first golf balls ever made were completely smooth. Why did you put all these holes in it? So over time, pro golfers were like, you know, the best balls are the old ones. They have all the cracks and scuffs in them. I could make a joke, but I'm not going to. So they kept using the same balls for years. And then manufacturers were like, okay, you know what? We gonna make these balls have like dimples in them and stuff. Those balls, you know, they just hit different. So this is supposed to resemble an aged dimpled ball. I mean, to us, it just looked like a regular golf ball. Speaking of balls and holes, why do donuts have holes in the middle of them? But wait, they have donuts that are round now. I've seen donuts that are like heart-shaped, stars. But we talking about the original design of a donut. You know, thousands of years ago, when they used to go to Dunkin' Donuts, they could never get the edges to cook the same as the middle. So bakers came up with this shape where they would have a hole in the middle. So the donut cooks evenly. I mean, okay. You know, on the back of some coats, there's this thing that's called a half belt. It's a small piece of cloth held together by some buttons. So they used to have these on military coats. And the purpose of this was that the half belts could be detached at night and then they would use their coat as a blanket. I mean, times have changed. We got luxury now. We got a coat and we got a blanket. Wait, can you still do that or no? If you take good care of your nails, you probably already know what a cuticle is. You know, this red part around the nails. You know, when you get a manicure, they cut some of it so it's like all perfect. And you just got like a clean look. So the whole reason for the cuticle is to protect your nails from an infection. When it's removed, when you cut it, bacteria and fungus can sneak through. I feel like a lot more nail salons know this because they don't mess with the cuticle. I used to like take my nail and like push mine down and like mess with it and stuff. But now I feel like a lot of people know this and just leave it alone, don't cut it, don't mess with it or anything. What does the hole in the cap of a ballpoint pen do? What purpose do you serve in this world? A lot of people think it's so the pen doesn't dry out or so that it doesn't leak. Nope, it has a hole. If that a small person or animal somehow swallowed the cap, the hole keeps their airway from completely closing. Oh, so it's a safety precaution. Who knew? Mm, a blue pen cap, I think I'll just... No, don't you dare. 
This is very important. What do the numbers mean on your fruit? It's not just for the cashier to type in the code. It also lets you know a lot about where the fruit comes from. If there are four digits and the first number starts with four, that means the fruit has been sprayed with pesticides. It's not organic and quite possibly GMO. If there are five numbers and the first one is nine, then the fruit is organic. If there are five digits and the first one starts with eight, then the fruit is genetically modified. So stay away from that. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, the face, and make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.